Good morning to each and everyone. Welcome to our Accounting 101 Financial Accounting Recorded Video Discussion. So, allow me to introduce myself before we discuss these topics. My name is Jude Anubes Andres. I am a college instructor at Medina Foundation College. Before, I'm also teaching in the senior high school department those business administration subjects. And I am already teaching for almost four years already. If you want to know me more about me, you can find me at this following social medias. Okay, so right now, let's have the very important term in this subject, which is accounting. So, accounting is the medium of recording the business activities that is considered as a language of business. A medium siya because matawag na to siya as a tool of all those business activities. We cannot understand what is happening sa Osaka business without understanding accounting. That is why you have this kind of subject because so that you will be aware you will be aware of what is really happening sa mo ang business. That's why this is a language of business. Language as a form of communication. Okay? So, this is a form of communication in such a way na people inside the organization can understand to each other because of accounting. If mag-talk ta about money and so on. Okay. So, Right now, let's proceed with the three main functions of accounting. We do believe that accounting processes information into reports, but how? That's why these are the functions. We have recording, classifying, and summarizing monetary information in the business. So let's start with the recording. So recording, it's all about writing down and keeping records of business transactions. So, in everyday life sa Osaka company, so, always sila mag-record sa Osa yung mga nahitabo. Nabin yung sulod nga kwarta dito, nabin yung gawas, and so on. So, always record the daily pili kalintan. Same with the utang, di ba? If you have utang, daily pili nga, ibutang na na siya sa imura na memorizon. You need to record it so that you can remember. Next, classifying will be classify the recorded items according to their similarities. So this is how we arrange those business transactions. For example, um, talang mga asset, mga asset accounts, imo na siyang ipang tipok, kanang mga um, liability accounts, dito na siya, kanang po si owner's equity, imo po na siyang i-arrange so sila-sila na po. So that, you will not be confused kung mag ano na ta, kung ato na siyang buhatan o mga financial statements. Next, will be summarizing. Summarize by translating the data into reports such as financial statements. So, always remember nga sa tuwang midterm modules, wala pa tayo financial statements because tama na ta sa posting or the ledger. Hopefully, maabot sa financial statement pag mag-pre-final na ta. So, again, no? So, need ka yung uh, katong mga numbers nga itong ipang solve nga or atong mga numbers nga itong ipang, ipang calculate, ipang bookkeeping na to is converted into report so that people nga mag-need ana can understand what's happening sa to ang company. So, there are two major objectives of financial accounting. First, to report the financial condition of a business at a point in time. So, reporting nga po siya no, nga at a point in time, it means nga it must be updated. For example, kanang, kaan, we are now in a 2020 year, 2020 na ta. So, kana mo mga information nga naasin mo ang kamot, mga account information, katupod is for 2020 po siya nga mga transaction. That's why tawag siya as at point in time. Same with the news, di ba? Dilipidin nga ang news gahapon or news po na aging tuig. 
mo ibalikod ni mo karon so that will be outdated next to report changes in the financial condition of a business over a period of time so ang pinakalas ni accounting is you can compare the, the accounting information from different years for example 2015 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 2020. Makompare ni mo kung ga-increase ba ila ang profits or ga-decrease ba and so on. Again, these are the two major objectives of financial accounting. Moving on, let's proceed with the basic accounting equation. So, I believe that this equation, you are already familiar with this kay nakita. Ano ninyo siya sa to ang prelim ng module? Okay? So, sa gina siya ng formula gani or unsa nga equation, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Okay? So, even though you already know all those difficult theories about accounting, it is very much important nga makasabot yun mo unsa dyan nga formula. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So, Ato sa akin define what are these. So, assets are things of value owned by the business. It means these are the properties owned by the business. For example, sa inyong balay ninyo, kung sa may mga properties yung kamuji to iya. For example, sa mong balay na ami, manang TV, o yung anak, speaker, like that. So, these are owned by the business. Kung ato siyang i-example. Liabilities are the equities of the creditors or the debts of the business. So, from the term itself, no? Liabilities, it means those utang. That's why creditors know nga, kung kaya nga yung tanga, ang usa ka business, dili yun mawala ng utang. Even those corporations, mga bigger or mga successful corporations, na ano sila yung mga utang. So, liabilities. And capital, it represents the equity of the owner or the right of the owner on the assets of the business. It means nga out of those assets daw, asa man ang sure nga imuan na marabag na hinlo na siya bang under you. So, ko ako siya isummarize to na, but to make it easier to understand, let us say nga you are living in a house. Ang asset, these are the properties owned by the business overall nga nasa balay. Liabilities, iba equal man siya no? So, liabilities, out of those properties nga imong ipang own mo, asa nila ang mga utang. Okay? Utang. And capital, out of those assets, sa tanan nga mga assets, asa nila ang sure ball nga imo ajud or ikaw si owner anak. Nag-get sa yung idea, Asset is equal to liabilities plus capital. If you have any other question, comment here sa to ang comment sa ubo sa comment section nato. Okay? So assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Okay? So let's proceed with the classification of accounts. After we discuss with the three main elements of accounting, which are the assets, liabilities, and capital, let's proceed with the revenue and expenses. So these are just considered as a nominal accounts because at the end of the quarter or once to mahuman na mugga ng anong quarter or year, it will not be used to another period. Okay? So... Revenue is the inflow of assets resulting from the sale of goods or rendering of services to customers. So somehow, sales. Are you familiar with sales? Diba? Ang sales can increase our capital with the use of assets. That's why ang assets, those properties of the business, atong gamiton for us to create sales, which also increase our capital. And the expenses, these are the costs or mga gastos one incurred to produce revenue. Diba pag mag ano mo, for example, you are planning to have a business. So, para before ka makaginan siya, before ka makakuwag sales, medyo kayog mga expenses. It means expenses can decrease our capital. Okay? Do you understand? Okay, let's proceed. So, this is the chart of accounts. 
So, kung makita niyo sa module, no, na ano siya to ang module sa midterm. A list of all accounts used by a business. So, for every elements, di ba na dira, assets, liabilities, owners, equity, revenue, and expenses, we have here different kinds of um, accounts. Di ba? Sa asset, na cash in bank, account receivable, tama sa delivery equipment. Liabilities, accounts payable, and so on. Ang owner's equity, we do have uh, Crystal Vargas Capital, and so on. The revenue and expenses. So, para asa man is si Chair of Account. Silvi, ko sa libro pa ni siya, mora siya ganang um, table of contents. Because, in this, this is the only way that we can identify what will be the specific code or ko asa siya na bilong nga elements. For example, kan ni si Cushion Bank, 101. So, kanang mga number di radi na siya takataka na 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 siya yung mga um, silbi control number or code niya once we proceed with journalizing and then the ledger. So, let's have analyzing business transaction. So, analyzing business transaction is very much important. We cannot proceed with financial statements or with classifying the accounts if we cannot analyze those day-to-day -day activity of a business. So, these are events that has some effects on the resources of a firm or on the sources of a firm's asset. Let us say, nahalinan mo, na nipalit mo, or nangutang mo, or na nangutang sa mo, ah, those are transaction at it must be recorded. For example, pila pa na ang pila pa na kapiso, or even little amount needed to kaya siya na to eh. Record. So, analyzing business transaction. So, after we analyze those transactions of a business in a day-to-day -day basis, so every day should siya nga natin record, it will be recorded, it will be transferred to a journal. So, a journal is a primary book of original entries for accounting data. In the journal, the business transactions are recorded chronologically that is called journalizing. So, di ba atong mato siyang i-analyze? And once we already analyze, it will be chronologically, say chronologically, isunod-sunod siya. For example, from September 1, tama sa September 30, diri na to siya i-transfer. Okay? So, the accounting data are recorded first time in this book. And the entries are then copied and classified into debts, debits, and credits. For us, nga, ato siyang i-transfer na po for ledger after mag-journalize ta. Okay? So, how do we do this one or how do we convert those transactions ng mabutang siya sa journal? So, we have here journal entry. So, it is an entry systematically recorded to the tune of golden rules of accounting in the journal book is known as journal entries. So, ingon pa nila nga, um, in every transaction, na dyan na siya cost and effect. Okay? So, kung na na siya nahitabo, kung na na siya o sa transaction, na ako na siya epekto. So, what are those effects? Or So, we do have here, di ba na mention o ganyan, no? Debits and credits. So, dire siya, mo ni ang journal Entry. This is the golden rules of debiting and crediting in journal. So we'll be using the English approach so that we can easily understand what is this all about. First, let's start with personal account. So if in a transaction, a person receives something in cash or goods, it is debited. Okay? And if that person gives, that is credited. Debit account is denoted by DR while credit account is denoted by CR. In brief, the rule of the personal account is receiver is debited, giver is credited. For example, in a company, if the company receives something after they give or they render, for example, they render sila ng services, that is debited. Okay? 
Pero if ever ganyan yun, sila yung muhatag, magpagawa sila ang kwarta, ang company magpagawa sa kwarta in an organization that is credit. Okay? Receiver is debited, giver is credited. Next will be the real account. So if in, if in a transaction, the assets are coming into business, they are debited. And if those are going outside from business, they are credited. Thus, these rules are as follow. What comes in is debited. What goes out is credited. So since ang real account kay nag refer siya sa mga assets nga own uh, assets that will be owned by the business, once nga ang, ang company nag purchase sila og mga assets, kisulud silang company that is debited. Pero if ever ko ilang ipagawas, okay, ilang ganing ipagawas ang ilang assets or na something i ipagawas outside from the business that is credited or credit. Okay, that is the real account. Last but not the least will be the nominal account. So I guess no, I have already mentioned what is nominal account Karina. Yeah, these are just only temporary accounts because once it is used already or once ganina na na siya sa company, it will not be used this data to another period of time. For example, um, this month is October. Let us say na atay sales nga 500 pesos. So that 500 pesos only take place or will happen or gamiton ra siya and sa October nag yapon. Dili siya pidi gamiton for the month of November. That's why nominal account. So the rules of debiting and crediting of nominal accounts are the expenses and losses of the businesses are debited and the gains and profit of the business are credited. So in brief, the rules are Expenses and losses are debited, and then income and gains are credited. For example, mana ko ninyo nga nagbayad taog ka ng um, rent expense. So, a rent expense no, somehow, masama na siya. Yes, so rent. So, kung mag-rent gani ka, automatically, that will be debited sa imu asa company. Pero if you will have a sale, for example, na halinan mo sa yung mga baligya, it will be credited. So, I guess no, you are still confused kung unsa na sila. But I have here the summary. Okay, this will be the accounts normally having a debit balance. So, what are those accounts? Assets, owner's drawing, and then the expenses. And in the accounts normally having a credit balance, we have liabilities, capital, and revenue. So, maybe you're asking, sir, what are those accounts under assets? Owner's, uh, owner's equity, liabilities, it's there at the module. Okay, I do believe I gave you an activity in which you need to identify kung debit na siya or credit and then in what element. Just an example for the assets. For example, kung sa asset ta, we have cash. The cash. Cash on hand, like that. Um, account receivable. Account receivable gani. Mauna yung mga utang sa customers yung need pa ni mo. Kolektahon. We also have the equipment. Of course, those properties, mga furnitures, like that. And then for the liabilities, we also have um, accounts payable, then notes payable. Basta na siya payable nga term, it means that is utang from the uh, utang of the company and the need pa kolektahon sa creditors. And also, if capital for example, makadog mo nga Jude Kama Capital or yes, that is a capital. Pag revenue, ang dirty ra katong mga um, sales. Sales return and allowances. Like that. Sales discount. Mono yung under sa revenue. For the expenses, dahan kayo ni. And 
advertising expenses, rent expenses, um, what else pa man, utility expenses, and so on. So, these are mga gasto or cost of the of the business so that makagain sa law of sales once nga ilan nang ipang baligya. Okay, about the owner's drawing, this is the contra account of the capital. Why? Because there are times nga ang owner will get money, use the money for personal. I mean, get the money for personal use. So, mo ng owner's drawing. So, don't expect nga ilan na nang bayaran because once nga nung kag owner's drawing, ilan na na siya nga kuha from this business. Okay? So, para mas makasabot pa dyan ta kung unsa jud to sila unsa um unsa jud ila ang kanang kanang position in terms of elements so for the debit side si asset once nga once nga na ay asset automatically pag mag debit ta it will be increased for asset plus sa credit decrease ta siya it means nga nakuha na nga to ang asset for the liabilities, we also have mo decrease ang liabilities if debited. Kaya nga itong normal balance ito ang liabilities is credit man siya. For the capital, once nga dumaga na ito itong capital, dito ta sa credit. Okay? Pag, gunaha, pag makuha, makuhaan gani itong capital, it will be on the debit side. For the drawing, sa so drawing gani, owner's drawing, katong nang hulam ta, um, not mahulam ba nagkakuha ka o kwarta sa inyo ang company. So, mo-increase na siya if nata sa debit side. Pero, kung ano siya, kung maghulam ka, ay pag makuhaan, that will be for the decrease. So, for the revenue, if we have we do have a sales, that will be credit increase in revenue. And then, kung makuhaan siya, that will be debit decrease in revenue. For the expenses, increase in expenses gani, once nga nagkadagahan nga itong expenses, it will be on the debit side. And then if makuan-kuan, that will be on the credit side. Okay? So, my only advice pa dili mo mag-listen ang nga subject is to memorize the normal balances of every elements. Okay? So, again, mga natanga. Mga natanga asset. Okay, debit. Liability, credit, capital, credit, uh, revenue, credit, expenses, debit. So, basig mo na mga hala, sir, tanan mga expense, eh, tanan mga debit pasulod. It depends on the elements. Okay? So, this is the chart of account that I have mentioned a while ago. So, we are now on the example part. So, I want you to get your module midterm module so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay? So, in here, um, okay, so, in here, we have the assets with the following accounts, liabilities, uh, owner's equity, revenue, and then the cost and expenses. So, again, how many numbers do you need? 140, 141, 142, no. So, these are the code that will be used less, less, sorry, that will be used in the journal entries or in the journal part and also dito po sa ato ang ledger. So, this will serve as your table of content later para makabalo mo, pwede mo mga wala. Okay, let's have the first example. Uh, just a reminder, this is an example of a journal. Journal is siya. Okay? Journal is siya. And at the top, this is the transaction. So, that's why ang ginanay nyo nga natay ka ng business, uh, analyzing business transaction. So, we will analyze this one. Let us say nga, kanin siya, naani siya sa ato ang mga receipt. Di ba naman yung mga receipt before ta magpagawas or magpasunod o money. So, let us say uh, the owner, Margox Montrugon, invested 500000 for business operation. So, if we talk about invested, it means nga, 
nagbutang ka og 500,000 sa imo ang business. Sa company Margox uh or well, mention ng company but ano, ang owner of the company is si Margo Margo Mondragon. So again, ha, this is the part of the um journal, okay? This one PR means post reference kaning 100130 mo ni siyang katong code dapat sa mga accounts okay debit side credit side okay so again as what i've said balik ta sa to ang question nga naginvest og 500,000 business operation it means nga di ba mikag nag-invest we are talking about cash and cash is under asset. So, sa may normal balance ni asset, di ba ang normal balance ni asset is debit. That's why cash, 100 CPR or post reference itong nasa um, nasa to ang chart of account and then ang 500 pesos will be on the debit side. It means sulod ang 500 pesos sa company. On the other hand, since kaya na we have here the cash which is asset, ang ato pong capital will also increase. It's Mondragon Capital. So, Mondragon Capital 130, this, this is the code from the chart of account. And then, 500 pesos, this is ito ang credit card, the credit port, okay? So, yes. Ang kaning to record owner's initial investment, this is the explanation. Don't forget to use the record. Dinali ka nga to record owner's initial investment. And then I forgot, don't forget to write here on sa nga year. This is 2020 month, September. One, this is the day kung kalong saan siya nahitabo. So, sa pag-record ani, kanigwan nga nasa taas sa the owner, tapat sa the owner, it means that is September 1. And okay, a reminder, Another reminder is that pag ang debit side gani ano siya kanang makita ninyo no nga wala galinya ang atong debit o credit mas mas um duol gamay sa line ang atong cash then ato din siya i-end then si Mondragon Capital same with the debit si debit mauna si credit is the other side na put siya dili siya pwede itipo ni mo pra dili mo ma label okay So again, this is the first transaction of Margo Mondragon si ang company. Let's proceed with September 2. So for the business transaction for this, purchase merchandise for Muni Mondragon Corporation, 20,000 pesos, 210 and 30. Freight is 200 FOP shipping point. So kung makita na to during a transaction, it's a little bit complicated. But, don't you worry because I will teach you what is this all about. So, naitabuan ang transaction is that ang Romina Mondragon Corporation nagpalit sila ang merchandise worth 20,000 pesos. Pero, not in cash but utang siya. Why? Makabalo mo nga utang siya because it's 210 and 30. What is the meaning of 210 and 30? So, if 210, it means ganyan nga within 10 days if the buyer paid their obligations within 10 days na asya yung madawat nga 2%. Again, within 10 days na asya yung madawat as 2% if makabayad siya agad-agad. And then, N30, it means taman dra o 1 month ang palugit nga mabayaran niya. If mula pa sa gani siya o ganang uh, more than 10 days sa pagbayad, di siya kadawat sa 2%. Okay? So, Next will be the freight is 200 with if we talk about freight that is a transportation cost. Actually there are two kinds of freight. We have the freight in and then the freight out. Pero for this transaction we have here freight in. So what is a freight in? So may tag freight in gani FOB shipping point or freight on board shipping point. Let us say nga si Romina ni palit siya og ganang product utang ha utang So, kung nangpalit siya, it means siya yung nagbayo sa transportation cost sa pag-deliver sa product from the seller paingon sa ilaa. Pilaman, worth 
pesos. So, this will be the journal entries. So, again, matawag siya utang. So, since utang man, that is accounts payable. That will be liability. So, ang normal balances sa accounts payable is credit. That's why accounts payable, 120 aya ang post reference. And then, naasa right portion ang niya ang 20,000 pesos. And purchases. Purchases is kung saan na siya nga element, is an asset element. It means nga, namalit sila o merchandising sulod sa company. That is an asset. So, 20,000 that will be na sa debit part of the journal. Okay? So, don't forget the um, explanation to record purchase merchandise on account. So, makabalo mo nga utang na siya. For example, kung na on account po ang Usaka business transaction. So, next kay, since ano man siya, dua man siya katransaksyon, dua man ang naitabo diri nga ito i-analyze, freight in is always a debit. So, debit, it means 200 na sa left side sa ato ang journal entry, and then si cash na sa right side also credit 200 pesos. Sir, nga man sir nga si cash na siya sa credit because, nga man, because nag-decrease ang value, nagbayad biya ka, di ba? Nagbayad yung 200 pesos. Ninggawas ang cash. It means credit siya. Freight in, 200. Cash, 200. With an explanation of the record payment of freight on purchases. So, just to, um, just to summarize, we do have here two kinds, again ha, two kinds of freight. Freight out, freight in. Pag freight out gani, makita ganyan mag FOB destination sa transaction, it means nga, nasa man, it means nga, namaligya mo, and then you will be the one to pay sa transportation cost. Ihat to din yung sa inyo ang buyer. Okay? So, freight out, igawas ninyo. Pero, if we talk about freight in gani, ano to siya? From seller, ipadala nila din sa 2A, pero kita magbayad pag makita mag FOB shipping point. If you have any other questions, comment sa to ang comment section. And just write your comment there na lang. And I will ask, or and I will answer you right away. Okay? Let's proceed with the next transaction. So, this will be September 5 transaction. Purchase store supplies for cash. 2,600. So, kung ato siyang bisaya o, oh, ni palit siya supply, yung barya niya og 2,600. It means nga, oh, nagbayad ka, ninggawas ang kwarta, that's why cash, na mo siyang credit, 2,600 na as a credit part, with 100 as the post reference, and then ang supply na to, diba, once nga nag-increase ang atong asset, automatically, debit na siya. So, supply 2,600 that will be debit with an explanation of to record purchase of store supply. So, always remember nga ang to record must be the ano, kadang written first before ni mo explain unsay unsay yung record. Okay? To record purchase of store supply. So, again na supply is a debit or asset account. Still, ang, ang cash pod asset siya, pero ning bayad man kaya, what comes out, ni out man, so ning gawas man, that will be 2,600. Okay? Next will be September 6. Purchase computer set for the office on account from Bayani Net Coasting, 24,000 pesos. So, is this utang or gigabayad sila through cash? Okay, yes. So, kani siya, nagbayad siya, which is utang because we can say here nga on account. Nang palit siya computer set, however, on account, dito kang bayan net costing. How much? 24,000 pesos. So, debit na to, office equipment, which will be 24,000. Accounts payable, 24,000. Thousand pesos. Ako payable no kay utang man siya. Okay? Pag nagani on account, automatically utang na siya. Accounts payable credit 24,000. Office equipment 24,000 pesos. 
Okay, and for the explanation, the record purchase of equipment on account. So, nice na kayo siya, utang. Pero, if ever gani nga, in the future, mobayad na gani ang um, si Mondragon sa yung utang kay Bayan Net Costing, what happened here is that si accounts payable, mahay mong debit, and then i-cash na to si credit later. Okay? Let's have September 7. Sold merchandise to Aspire Commercial. Cost 15,600 to 10 and 30. Freight is 250 FOB shipping point. So, what is this all about? So, Silbin sold man. So, we are trying to have a sales here. Okay? Namaligya sila. Gipalit ni Aspire Commercial. Pero utang. Okay? 210 and 30. Remember ha, pag 210 and 30 gani, within 10 days, if makabayad siya, within 10 days na asya, 2% discount, tama na po sa 30 ang yaang pagbayad. Freight is 250, FOB shipping point. What is that, by the way? Hmm? Well, shipping point gani, gipadala diri ang ang product sa company. Pero, Kanisha, it's a very tricky nga question because namaligya ka kung ipadala sa imo a. Ah. So, Silby, kaning freight is 250, uwat uwat na ni siya. Na mga times nga, mauwat ka, try ni siya, or gibutan yun na siya diri, so that matest ka kung familiar ba ka sa freight in and then the freight out. Okay? So, in here, account receivable is debit, 15,600 with a sales of 15,600 credit to record sales on account. Okay? Kung sa'yo ng accounts receivable, accounts receivable is an asset account. That's why maningil pa ang maningil pa si Montragon kay Aspire Commercial of 15,600. Okay? Pero in the future, if ever ganyan nga bayran na po ni Aspire Commercial, bayran ganyan ni Aspire Commercial si Montragon cost 15,600, Metabuan na account receivable will be may mo na siyang credit and then si cash may mong debit because naka-receive na po ka of cash. Okay? Next will be September 8th purchase merchandise for cash 60,000 pesos from commercial traders. Freight is 600 FOB destination. So I want you to analyze why is it niya usara ka journal entry sa nga ang gibutang. Okay, ano man? Hmm? Okay, purchase gani, it means ning palit ka. Ning palit ka, worth 60,000 pesos for cash. However, ang nabutang din kay FOB destination man, ning palit gani ka, ning kag destination, imong ipagawas, ba? Imong ipa, i-deliver ni mo sa imo ang buyer ni mo. Pero ikaw man ning palit, it means ang freight any is not accepted. It will not be included sa ato ang journal entries. So, um, purchases is debit, 60,000 pesos. Cash is 60,000 pesos. Credit kay ang cash. Nakuwaan naman siya. Nang decrease man itong asset na to automatically sa credit part siya ibutang. That's why ang purchases is a debit. With an explanation of the record purchases of merchandise for cash. Let's proceed with September 9 transaction with third slightly damaged merchandise costing 2000 to remain a Mondragon Corp. So, in this transaction, ang hitabuan is that si Romina Mondragon, diba, can you still remember si September 2, ning palit siya, ning purchase siya merchandise worth 20,000 pesos. I want you to go back there. Ning palit siya, pero utang. Okay? utang siya. Pagkaabot sa September 9, they found out nga some of the merchandises, they both kay kanang damage. So, pwede dyan siya ni mo return, di ba? We do believe that customers have the right to return their products as long as na siya damage. For example, na ako yung pag TV karon. If ang TV, pag dawat ni mo TV, di siya mo andar, or wala siya nabuha ka, dili lang siya muanda. You can return that one. Pero pag imo na siyang gituyo o buak, 
Kumanang gito yung buak, nabuak ka siya, napila na kabula nila bay, it will not be returned. Pero, it is always according to the rules and policy of the said company. Kung unsay way nila sa pag-return ana or unsay mga unsay mga rules nila ana. Pero, in this, again, gibalik ni mo Romina Montragon Corporation ang merchandise. It means, di ba, sa September 2, ano siya, debit is purchases, and then credit na to is accounts payable ni utang. It means, ang iyang utang, since kibalik man, dili siya maningil o cash nila. Ah. It means nga, ang utang po nila, ibig nag utang sila, sa September 2, mawa, makwal, makwaan po ang ilang utang worth 2,000 pesos. That is why si accounts payable na himo siyang debit. So, it means, ang iyan lang na utang dito is only 18,000 na lang. So, with the credit, credit portion na to, sa right, portion of the journal, 2,000 pesos, purchase returns and allowances. Ang 102 gain, asa na siya? Basta nakalimot mo sa um, sa chart of account na to ni siya makita with an explanation of the record purchase returns. Okay? Question. So, again ha, accounts payable, it means nga nakuwaan imong utang na 20,000 o 2,000. That's why, the debit na to si accounts payable decrease. Kaya ang liability, it has, kung sama na siya, ang liability has a credit normal balance. Next, we have granted allowance to aspire commercial for defective merchandise worth 1,000. 800 pesos. So, I forgot kung asa ni siya nga date before. Pero, ang nahitabuan ni is that um, ang nahitabuan ni na maligya sila, na maligya ang, ang Mondragon, naka-sale sila, however, na ay defect. So, giuli ni Aspire commercial. It means um, there will be a sales return and allowances as debit. Nga no debit man siya. Sir, sales bin siya, sir. No, the sales return and allowances is an uh, is a contra account or is a contra account of sales. Contra is siya, siya yung mo mo ano na siya, mo differentiate or what I mean is siya yung makapagamay sa to ang sales nila. Nato, ano akong receivable man sir? If atong balik kung tong previews, so comment below ko unsan siya nga date na bilong. So, if, um, di ba ang itong account receivable is debit? Pero since kwa ay manato siya, ang ilang utang nila, maminimize na lang o 1,800. That's why, account receivable is credit, sales return allowances is debit with um, explanation of the record sales allowances. Okay? Next. September 11, paid in full the account with Romina Mondragon Corporation. So, kung atong balik ko itong September 2 nga event, di ba natay 2, 10, and 30? Correct? Naba wala? Taa. So, kung magbilang ta from uh, September 2 to 11, kaabot ba siya 10 days? Bilang ko na to. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It means, kaabot siya sa the, uh, agreement between the debtor and the creditor. Creditor as the seller to nagpautang. So, di ba, anak ko, before na ato 2,000 yung return. Correct? Na ito'y purchase return and allowances worth 2,000. So, yan na lang overall accounts payable is 18,000. So, accounts payable is 18,000. Debit siya. It means, nakuwaan na yung utang 18,000. And then, di ba, magkuhan man tag 2%. So, what is 2% of 18,000? So, ang 2% ana is 360. So, yung mong bato ana is 18,000 times 0 0.02. The answer is 360. So, 18,000 minus 360 is equal to 17,640. That is the remaining nga barya na 
Abariane Romina Mondragon Corp. Katuotang niya sa September 2. So, purchase discount 360 credit, cash 17,640 credit. Kaya nang bayad siya, hindi na siya 18,000. Kaya naman nung saan mag 360, which is a 2% discount on 210 and 30. With um, an explanation of the record full payment with discount. So actually, you can create your own explanation as long as it is related to our um, to our transaction or business transaction. Don't forget that the right to record. Ibantay mo kasi lang ang tension nila. Accounts payable and then tapod kasi purchase si cash uban, credit man siya. And then tapod si to para kung siya. Money rule. Yes. Then, don't forget to have here the space before you proceed to other transaction. Oh, so, di ba, we still have other, ano, uh, we still have other transactions kung mag-base na sa midterm module na to. So, this is your time to analyze it, study, and if you have any other question, so, comment here sa tong comment section. Thank you and God bless.